China's new 800M rocket shocks the entire space industry. As of 2022, China has just unveiled its newest weapon that will surely challenge Elon Musk and NASA for their work. With progress in every field, China has now moved toward the space industry. So what is the specialty of this weapon? And what does it mean for the future of NASA and Elon Musk? Stay tuned to the video to find out more. Greetings. In this video, we are going to find out about China's latest weapon and its mission. What threat does it pose to NASA and what are its future plans? Beijing has unveiled the CZ-8, an 800-meter-long rocket with a payload capacity of 140 tons of low-Earth orbit LEO. That is more than three times the size of SpaceX Heavy Falcon rocket, which was launched successfully last month. It's the world's longest rocket with a slew of unique features that can help China explore space. Let's discuss its features one by one. Longer and more effective range Long March 9, China's next rocket is anticipated to have a 10,000 kilometer range. It will be able to lift up to 100 tons into geostationary transfer orbit, GTO, or 50 tons into low Earth orbit, LEO, according to China's Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC GTO. In other words, China will be able to launch crewed trips to Mars and other planets in our solar system. The intended launch vehicle, according to Zhu Jinping, chief designer of China's lunar exploration program, can go as far as Mars and transport up to 50 metric tons. In terms of propulsion systems, we are more advanced than our counterparts internationally. After completing the following three steps, Long March 5, about 2018, Long March 6, around 2020, and Long March 7, approximately 2030, Long March 9 is scheduled to make its inaugural flight around 2022. By then, China will have completed building a brand new space center in Wenchang City in the Hainan province of southern China. In advance of China's Change 3 lunar mission, the city has already hosted a number of successful launches. Currently at a Beijing test site, a prototype of China's Mars rover is being tested. Bigger Payload Handle According to estimates, the Long March 9 can launch up to 120 tons of payload into Geostationary Transfer Orbit GTO, or 40 tons into LEO GTO. On the other hand, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy can only launch 53.5 tons. Even if it might not seem like much comparison to China's latest invention, there is one other significant distinction. Price. While the Falcon Heavy costs $200 million, the Long March 9 is predicted to cost $10 billion. It has been suggested that SpaceX could reduce its cost by half if they were able to build a reusable rocket with characteristics similar to those of the Long March 9. With this, they would be able to launch more than twice as much into LEO for only half as much money as China spent building theirs. Not only is China catching up in terms of space payload, but it also appears to be doing it faster than SpaceX in terms of reusability. China doesn't have a backup launch system because its rockets are generally disposable. But Long March 9 will only be used once every five years because they wouldn't have built a brand new craft every time. China may save millions of dollars in launch costs if they can make their craft reusable as SpaceX has done with the Falcon 9. This brings us to our next point. Despite the tremendous advancements achieved by SpaceX in the field of building reusable rockets, they are still not as effective as China's Long March 9. China intends for all its next launches to be completely disposable. However, they would be able to launch about seven times as many payloads into LEO if they could develop a reusable craft with its launch capabilities. Even while that may appear excessive in comparison to Falcon Heavy's two times greater payload, any savings are beneficial when attempting to reduce the cost of space travel. Cheaper than other rockets Compared to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which will launch in February 2018, China's Long March 9 is less expensive. Compared to the Falcon Heavy, which costs $90 billion, the Long March 9 is expected to cost $10 billion, according to Zhang Bainan, the chief designer at China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp., CASC. This might make extensive space travel feasible for nations all across the world that couldn't previously afford it. Because we have done our research, it will be far less expensive. We can mass produce most of the components. Therefore, we do not require a set produced by one company or a set produced by another. The same size fits all. 
Zhang asserts that China's Long March 9 rocket is superior to NASA's space launch system when compared. Our system differs significantly from NASA's. Each launch of SLS includes two stages. He told China Daily that their launcher's core stage cannot compete with our launcher's ability to carry nearly twice as much payload. By 2025, maybe around if everything goes according to plan, CASC hopes to launch its heaviest ever rockets. This might allow its massive rockets to launch 140-ton payloads into low Earth orbit, which would be much heavier than anything even NASA could currently handle. China bragged that its Long March 9 launch vehicle would be more potent than NASA's space launch system. The Long March 9 is scheduled to launch in 2025 with China's primary space station module. 20 launches of the Long March 5B will follow, each carrying 25 tons into low Earth orbit. In contrast, NASA is still developing the SLS, a gigantic rocket space launch system. Each launch of SLS is expected to propel 140 tons into low Earth orbit, but each launch might cost $11 billion. The space race between China, Russia, and the U.S. is getting interesting. America and Russia are under pressure after China successfully launched their first space station into orbit with an unmanned spacecraft. Chinese officials claim that they intend to launch a larger space station than any other currently in operation next year. Even though Russia is still hard at work on its SUS rockets, which might enable it to launch crews up to six people into low Earth orbit, most analysts concur that there is now little cause for alarm. Until 2023 or 2024, when commercial launches start sending astronauts into space aboard Boeing CST-100 Starliner or SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft, the U.S. will maintain its advantage over Russia and possibly even China. In the interim, China and Russia are both concentrating on launching crews into space so they can practice and hone in space operations in the interim. While China's SUS 2.1V launcher will launch for the first time from Vostokny Cosmodrome in 2018, China plans to launch two research missions in 2019. They intend to launch a more sophisticated SUS MS series rocket that can fit six people into low Earth orbit in the same year. Despite the fact that China and the United States are currently neck and neck in the space race, there is still little doubt that China will eventually win the race. Despite the fact that everyone is making progress, China still needs to figure out how long people can stay in space before they can travel to Mars. According to studies, astronauts' muscle strength starts to noticeably decline in 210 days of weightlessness, and those effects are persistent after 600 days. If we want humanity to send an expedition to Mars, let alone go on longer trips, we need a deeper understanding of what happens when you permanently lose gravity. At the moment, China has only tested its screwed Shenzhou spacecraft for up to 180 days. Americans have a cultural inferiority complex toward China without even realizing it. Whatever your opinion, there is no denying that China will continue to dominate U.S. technology as long as its economy continues to grow. In terms of technology, China has always taken a leap before the U.S. In 2008, China traveled more than 6,200 kilometers from Beijing, China to Nagoya, Japan, using a solar-powered aircraft created by Deng Fan Feng. In the interim, NASA continues to run its space exploration activities using fossil fuels. According to estimates, NASA's six orbiters consume $10 million worth of fuel every day. Additionally, NASA does not even have any commercial space flight programs and instead depends on Russia for crewed transportation. Keeping aside space and technology, China has surpassed the U.S. in many other fields as well, such as communication technology, microchip development, anti-gravity research, quantum physics, and the list goes on and on. This ends the video for today. What do you think about the spacecraft and who will win the space race among these countries? Tell us in the comments. Like and share the video. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. See you in the next video.